I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep Good morning everyone So today naman uh, Hindi tayo plant feature ngayon But instead I will Show you how I repot my established succulents um, This one is my Graptopetalum SP uh, this one has been with me for more than a year and as you can see shallow pot lang siya and then super healthy naman niya and I love her so much super favorite ko to kaya actually medyo kabado ko sa kanya um bakit? kasi I recently I noticed ang daming dried leaves niya sa bottom no wala naman siyang sakit walang issue sa stem pero napansin ko kahit nag-water ako every couple of days um I think mga nasa every 4 days na ako ng water sa kanya. Pero still, marami pa rin dried leaves. So, ang feeling ko dito, baka root bound na siya. So, hindi na siya masyado makatake up ng nutrients. So, gumagamit siya ng, um, ng leaves niya na to drink. So, if that is the case, then I would have to repot this already to a bigger pot and a slightly deeper pot. So, I'm gonna be using my terracotta pot for this one, ano? Um, anong soil mix ang gamit ko? Ito, ginawa ko siyang extra uh, extra gritty. Tapos, uh, cultured soil to, na nilagyan ko ng um, maraming akadama and kanuma. So, very dry soil na siya. I'll show you how I do it para at least you have an idea kung anong itsura kapag root bound na yung mga halaman. This was spotted before pa, no? So, uh, matagal na talaga siya sa pot niya. Kaya, I think it's time. Ayan. So, let's start. Ayan. So, um, first, I have to remove the toppings. Meron kasi siyang parang mga glass toppings before, no? So, tanggalin ko muna yan para pwede ko pang gamitin ulit. I'm just using, um, a knife. <laughs> Whatever it is na makuha ko. Na nakuha ko kanina. And then gently pry off um, the glass uh, toppings. At yung mga part na mahirap no, na gawin kapag meron kang mga toppings, toppings na ganyan. And then kailangan mo mag-repot. So, medyo kailangan ng uh, delicate handling. Ika nga. Kasi kung hindi, sayang yung toppings mo mahalo lang siya sa old soil and ayun, sayang baka hindi mo na magamit so para magamit mo ulit you have to be a little bit more gentle and again, be careful if you're using something like this, na sharp no? push and then push, there we go Dami kasi, ang dami na kasi leaves na nag-dry, no? Actually, nakapag-pluck na ako dito ng tatlo. And then, this big one, and this big one here is also um, drying up. So, parang feeling ko, kailangan na talaga. Sobrang iba itsura niya nung nakuha ko to. Ah, uh, and this is one of the, ano, the rare ones. Kasi SP siya. So, na-hybridized lang siya ng Korean supplier. And then, binenta. So, wala pa ako nakikita ng ganito. Kaya kapag mayroon kayong Graptopetalum SP, sa akin galing yun. <laughs> ako lang yata ang naging source itong Grapto SP. Well, this, this look pa. Kasi marami namang pwede maging Grapto SP, no? Kasi nga SP siya, so unnamed. But this specific look na mukhang opalina na mukhang amethystinum, parang hybrid siya. Kaya, yan. Sa akin lang galing yan. And then this time, I'll be using a prying tool to remove it. I'll clear out the sides first. 
Ayan. Okay. Starting to come out. So, maybe if we lift it, lalabas na siya agad. And we'll see what it looks like. Let's try to be gentle so we can remove it buo as a whole. Ayan. Ah. So, tama nga. Root bound na siya. As you can see. Ayan. This is what a one year old plus plant looks like. So, this one is um, a year plus old with me. So, what do I do? Mapapansin nyo, no? Black na tong roots na yan. So, namatay na yan. Wala na yan dead. So, what we have to do is mag-root pruning tayo. Mag-root pruning po tayo. So, what that basically means is that we will have to remove remove the roots and the old soil. At the mesh pa. So, tanggal tayo. Tanggal. Tanggal. You have actually two options. It's either root trimming or root pruning or partial pruning lang. No? Yung kalahati lang yung uh, tatanggalin nyo. But this one, I think I want to, I will go on hanggat sa, mak hangga sa makakita ko ng buhay na ugat. Kasi buo na siya, yun. Ayan. Sa ilalim din. Ouch, let's check. Maganda siya kasi walang uh, signs of uh, pest. So, this is the best time to also check, no? Kung may peste sila or wala. And then, I actually give it a good sniff. Kung amoy healthy siya. Kasi iba yung amoy ng fungus. May may fungus, no? Mabaho siya. But this one smells really good. Um, smells earthy. So, it's fine. Oh, there's a leaf propagation here. Ha, <laughs> ha, ka lang. Tanggalin, and then, tanggalin mo na rin yung mga dead leaves. And then, again, uh, mag-stem check ka na rin. Ayan. So, let's check the stem. The stems are really good. Walang sign of uh, rotting or any signs of fungus. Ay, may tanggal. And then, pag may mga kumakalas sa mga... Uh, leaves niya. Ili-leaf propagate na lang natin. Ano. So, here, um, maganda na yung ugat niya. Kapag hinata ko, hindi na siya sumasama. So, it means this root ball is um, okay, buhay siya. Ayan. Ito yung mga old niya na roots. Hindi ko nagagamit itong soil na to. I'll be using an, a, a new soil. Um, kasi ang importante din kaya baka rin hindi na siya nag-grow masyado is because kulang na ng nutrients yung lupa nyo no? so para um, para ma, para ma-replenish yung nutrients sa kanya baka kaya rin siya pumapayat kailangan na natin siya lang bigyan ng new soil Ayan. so kuha tayo ng magandang pot for her wait lang ha lapag ko muna siya dyan there So, I'll be using this pot para maganda yung contrasting colors niya. Ang maganda rin sa pagkapot ng panibagong halaman that we, ano, no, ang exciting kasi, uh, I think part of succulent, uh, the succulent hobby is also pot hobby. So, parang um, it's finding the right pot and the, yung parang details ng pot that makes your plant actually stand out better. Um, kasi if I'm gonna put it sa terracotta, Okay naman siya, kaso nga lang parang kulang, ba? Diba? Pero if I put it here, parang wow, ang ganda, stand out siya. Kaya, yeah, we'll put it here. Ayan, so the first thing that we will do, ay, 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 ay. Okay, let's fill the pot with new soil. ba? Diba? kamay-kamay na lang. I like using my hands um, just because I feel like I'm in touch with my ano, with my plant when I do this.
three leaves. So, ipapapagita lang natin yan. And then, this is it. This is her. And, newly potted baby. So, hopefully, this one, um, I, uh, this one, uh, ang gagawin natin dito, hindi natin siya ulit, um, tutubigan for a week. So, pahinga muna siya ng isang linggo. Uh, good thing, very plump naman siya. And not dehydrated, no? So, another tip, if you're planning to repot a an established succulent, uh, make sure na kakatapos mo lang sa, well, hindi naman kakatapos mo lang magdilig, no? Pero plump siya, hindi siya uhaw kapag mag -re kayo. Para at least meron siya lang extra water, no? Stored to sustain themselves while they're trying to root again to do to new soil. So only repot kapag again, also kapag dry yung soil, no, hindi basa. So para at least hindi siya papasukin kasi masusugatan yung ugat niya eh. So dry soil, dry um dry pot, um dry new soil din yung gagamitin niyo. So dry 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 ang technique dito para hindi sila pasukin ng bacteria and or ng fungus while there are they are trying to recover so this one um, for sure magsimula ulit tong uminom sa leaves nya ayan kaya medyo asahan na natin na medyo papayat sya and that's okay after a week pwede ko na sya ulit tubigan ng 10ml ulit um, parang back to start kayo kapag nag re kayo sa kanya hindi pwede yung full water na agad kahit na nag iwan po tayo ng ample na roots um, I suggest we go back to 10, 15 ml pa rin ulit just, uh, just to be on the safe side um, dahil yun nga, for me no, like, this is the only Graptopetalum SP that I have and I'm not sure kung, makakapag, kung magkakaroon pa ako ulit dito so, para iwas bulok, iwas fungus iwas bacterial rot um, I would go slowly again with her um, same with the sunlight no? hindi ko siya idadiretso uh, sun, so ilalagay ko muna siya sa bright area um, hindi bright shaded, bright area lang um, ilalayo ko muna siya dun sa uh, grow light ko kasi medyo malakas yung um, malakas yung ilaw dun so ililipat ko siya sa isang lugar na maliwanag pero hindi siya natututukan ng direct sunlight for at least 1 uh, to 2 weeks so para makabawi siya pero uh, again ano pang mga aasahan natin inaasahan ko rin na mawawala yung pagka pink niya dahil mapupunta nga siya sa medyo hindi maliwanag no so okay lang din yon yan yung mga ika nga variable sa tanggap ko na um, when I'm repotting but again this one will last her this pot will last her another year so yeah again please make sure that if you have a year old plants na to check on them and if you see that there's no not much growth and napansin nyo na umiinom sila parati sa roots sila kahit na regular kayo magtubig then it might be a sign that your pots are uh, that your plants are root bound uh, wala talagang ubos talaga yung ano niya yung ugat niya i mean uh, sagad talaga yung ugat niya dun sa sa pot kaya since nga shallow and small lang siya no so it it was really time for her to move to a bigger pot and yeah, I think this pot is a much better pot for her. I really like the contrast between the green and the pink. Sana nakikita nyo in person para talagang mas, mas visible, no? But, yeah, I hope you enjoy watching this repotting video. And, um, if you have any, uh, ano ba to? If you have any, um, requests na video, please do let me know on the comment below. And please do like, share, and subscribe if you like uh, our page, our our, uh, no, our YouTube channel, and um, see you again soon. Alrighty, have a good day. Carry all that you've got Two heavy hearts is not a lie